Hello, my name is Tom Bertrand and welcome to the Legendary Golf Instruction Series. These segments were designed to put motion and understanding to the pictures depicted in Ben Hogan's Five Lessons, also my book, The Secret of Hogan Swing, and my workbook that was designed with drills and exercises to help many of my students understand every facet of the golf swing. In this segment, we are going to gain a little bit more understanding of the motion of the left elbow, or what I term the missing link to Hogan's secret. In past segments, we have talked about the importance of the arms being close together. We have talked about Hogan's little twist on the backswing. We talked about laying off the club on the way down. And now, we're going to talk about the importance of the hitting area, that hitting zone where the left elbow comes into play. So, when we take the club back to the top of the swing, and we use Hogan's little twist to gain that, that little bit of an advantage, coiling our wrists. When we uncoil our wrists on the way down, as we get down into the hitting area, the left elbow turns towards the left hip, or what John Schley liked to term, moving level left. <clears throat> In this instance, you can see it as you're coming down through the hitting area, that when the left elbow turns toward the left hip, that actually turns the whole left wrist, the back of the left hand, and brings the leading edge of the club face into the hitting area. Once again, left elbow turning brings the leading edge, edge of the club into the hitting area. I have done nothing with my hands. I have not manipulated my hands. I still have the cup in the back of my right wrist once we've laid the club off. The back of the left hand is still relatively in line with the back or the, um, the back of the left arm. So as we come down through here, as the left elbow turns, nothing else happens except it brings the butt of the club around and toward my left knee. This instance gives me the opportunity of what Hogan liked to term capturing the golf ball. Once you get down in the hitting area, you capture the golf ball and then sling it to your target. Okay? Now, how can you practice this? How can you incorporate this in your, your own golf swing? Let me show you a couple little motions and uh, uh, maybe a drill or two that will help you do this. First of all, remember when we talked about keeping the arms close together, we used a tennis ball, a softball, something that we can grab onto with our elbows and our arms when we turn them in. On the way down, Hogan used to talk about keeping the arms as close together throughout the whole swing, not just on the way back, not just getting to the hitting area, but all the way through to the finish. He wanted that feeling of unity. So, when you get down here in the hitting area, what I like to do is look at myself in the mirror, get myself where my, the back of my left hand is to the ball, Lower body is already moving forward. And in this instance, I stop right here. Look at myself in the mirror. Then I just turn my left elbow, go back. Turn my left elbow, go back. Turn the left elbow. Do this over and over and over again so that your body can actually feel the left elbow turning by itself. Now remember, this goes along with the grip. The grip can't be super tight because if the grip's too tight, your left elbow and your arms are going to be super tight. You still want that active relaxation. That's actually what, what Hogan liked to term in the golf swing. You want to be relaxed, but you want to be actively relaxed. So, what you can do is turn the left elbow over and over and over again as you're practicing your swing. As you can see, the motion of the left elbow is turning. Nothing is going on with the right arm. The right arm is following. The right elbow has not fired yet as well. 
over and over and over. Now, how did John get with Hogan when he was doing this? Well, initially, <clears throat> when John was talking with Hogan about the movement through the hitting area, that's when um, Ben Hogan went to John and said, okay, get down into the hitting area. He brought John down into the hitting area and then just turned his left elbow. He said, look at this. Look at what you can do by squaring up the club face without any manipulation of the hands. So what your main goal is when you're going through your golf swing is to use your whole torso to turn the body, which in turn turns the shoulders and the arms and the hands, but that emphasis on that left elbow is critical. And it's something that is not natural. You have to train it. You have to train the left elbow to turn in the hitting area. The left elbow has to be, it has to be second nature in your swing. And the only way to do that is repetition, repetition. And the reason we concentrate so much on that left elbow is because if the left elbow does not turn toward the, the left hip in the golf swing, if it stays out, the, it's almost impossible to square up the club face properly. The ball is going to shoot off to the right more often than not, and the right elbow is going to have to come out to try and help you square up the club face. So you get a lot of people, if you see them on video, they're coming down through the hitting area, the left elbow is out, the right elbow is out, both elbows are out, powerless, trying to go through the hitting area. Okay? So, remember, left elbow, turn, left elbow, turn. And do that over and over again. You can actually, you can actually do that. Another drill that I like to tell students is get in the setup and, and actually feel a turn back and forth, just so that you can isolate that feeling of the left elbow. This is something that Hogan didn't readily give out to people. It's not something that um, a lot of people focused on. In the past, you've seen a lot of people put something under their left armpit to try and hold their left arm close to the body as you're going through the, the swing. This arm being held against the body, the upper arm being held against the body, is a reaction from actually turning the left elbow in. There's an action here and a reaction. The action is being able to consciously turn the left elbow in and train it to do that so that the upper arm will adhere better to the body. So, don't take a shortcut and put something under your arm. Use the knowledge of what the left arm and the left elbow are supposed to do through the hitting area to actually help you keep that upper arm against the body. So I hope this has helped you understand a little bit more of going through the hitting area and that missing link to Hogan's Secret. And I will see you next segment.